Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Daily Coder. In this edition, we're going to talk a little bit about money, bad habits, and hardware. Without further ado, let's get started. Last week, OpenAI revealed that they are thinking about producing hardware themselves. The reason behind is obviously money. Each query to the OpenAI briefly cost around 4 cents, which is obviously very expensive to run. Therefore, OpenAI announced that they will be starting to work on their own hardware to make it cheaper and more cost-effective. According to the article, OpenAI is believed to be testing other options like Microsoft chips as well as Google ones in order to find a cheaper alternative. Stack Overflow recently revealed the survey result on the UK salaries in IT tech. It comes at no surprise that the bigger salaries go with the executive role. However, what sounds interesting to me is that even with the whole hype on AI and data science, this is not the best by job yet. There are still roles which are having better salaries, which are backend developer, DevOps specialist, developer for mobile devices, as well as cloud infrastructure engineer and engineering manager, which are getting more than data scientist and machine learning specialist. If you want to check the entire report, you're going to find the link in the description down below. And now let's talk a little bit about habits, bad habits. SoundSlab company revealed the result of the survey which they taken on 500 developers in United States. Apparently, it seems that 67% of developers in the job pushed code to the production without testing. What's also interesting is that 61% of developers admit to use untested code generated by chat GPT and more than a quarter do it regularly. Furthermore, 68% of developers have merged their own pull request without review and 28% is doing that very often. Moving further, it looks like the developers are not taking security seriously. 70% of server respondents admitted to use a coworker credential, and 40% are doing this on the regular basis. And finally, 75%, which is 3 out of every 4 developers, admit to circumventing security protocols in their current role, such as disabling multi-factor authentication or unstable VPN to complete a task. If you want to check the entire report yourself, you're going to find a link to it in the description down below. So let me know down below in the comment if you ever commit one of mentioned crimes or you never done that in your entire career. Thank you for watching. If you don't want to miss more episodes like that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notification. See you in the next episode and keep coding.